Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to model the parts and assembly of single tool post. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch. Draw the outline of part number one. Go to smart dimensions. The outer diameter is given, so the radius is 62 by 2. The diameter of this region is given, so the radius is 25. The distance between the point and the center line is given as 36 by 2. And the top edge diameter is given as 32, so the radius is 16. Now coming to the height. The height of this region is 10 mm. The overall height is given as 150 mm. So for the 25 mm radius, the height is 110. Go to features, click revolved bars, select the center line, click OK. Now select the front plane, click sketch. Use Ctrl 8 to view in the normal direction. Select a center rectangle and draw a rectangle. Go to Smart Dimensions and mark the dimensions. So the rectangle width is 22, the height is given as 66 and the rectangle is at a height of 30 from the bottom edge. Now click Escape, use Control, Center Line and the Origin and make it as Vertical. Go to Features, click Extruded Cut, select Through All both okay now select the top surface click sketch draw a circle of 22 mm diameter as the bolt size is 22 go to features click extruded cut and choose up to surface and select the surface click ok now go to hold wizard, select thread, select the starting edge of the thread and in the end condition choose up to selection and select the opposite edge. So the thread size I have selected it as M22 into 2.5. So as it is an internal thread use extrude thread, trim with the start face and trim with the end face. Now I have created the thread. Next go to fillet, the fillet radius is given in the next drawing, it is 3 mm, so use 3 mm radius, right click on the material and choose plain carbon steel. Now save this as part number 1, close this. Now click new, create a new part, select the top plane, click sketch, draw a square of sides 76 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to 14 mm. Now select the top surface, click sketch. And first draw a circle of diameter 51 mm. Go to features, use extrude cut and extrude this to a height of 4 mm. Now select the surface, click sketch and draw another circle. of diameter 63 mm. Go to features, click extruded cut and select through all, click OK. Now go to fillet, the fillet radius is given as 3 mm, 
select the edge click ok right click on the material and apply plain carbon steel now save this as part number 2 next click new create a new part select front plane click sketch and draw the outline select a three point arc draw an arc go to smart dimensions and mark all the dimensions so if the inner radius is given as 51 by 2 the outer radius is given as 100 by 2 and the radius of the curve is given as 143 and the height is given as 12 mm okay, you can click and drag it go to line and draw a construction line now click control select the arc and the construction line and make it as tangent go to features before that create a center line now go to features click revolve boss select the origin and click ok right click on the material and apply plain carbon steel now save this as part number 3 click new create a new part select front plane click sketch and draw a rectangle select the bottom edge and click delete go to smart dimension the width of the rectangle is 120 and the height is not given so we can keep it in the center click control select the origin and the top edge of the rectangle and make it as coincident so you can click and drag the line in the bottom direction now go to three point arc and draw an arc connecting the two external lines go to smart dimensions and mark the radius of the arc as 143 now click control select these two lines and make it as equal now go to smart dimension select the top edge and the bottom point and mark the height as 16 mm go to features click extruded boss extrude this for 18 mm now go to reference geometry select plane and select the vertical edge as the first reference select angle and enter an angle of 45 degree this is for creating the serrations at the top and select second reference and select the right side edge now flip the offset click ok now select the plane click sketch draw a corner rectangle go to smart dimension so roughly i am giving a rectangle length of 1.5 and a width of 0 0.75 okay, go to features click extruded cut select through all both next i am going to pattern this go to linear pattern the direction select edge 1 and the distance between adjacent serration is 3 mm as I have given the length as 1.5 and future and faces select the extrude cut and we can roughly keep 80 serrations okay so you can see that 
so this is how we can roughly pattern it if you want you can also pattern it in the opposite direction now apply the material as plain carbon steel save this as part number four we'll close this click new create a new part select front plane click sketch draw the outline except the top portion so the total height is given as 96 minus 15 because I am drawing expect the top edge and the height of this region is given as 6 mm so undercut height is given as 5 mm and the height of the bottom surface is 8 mm now going to the radius the radius of the bottom edge is given as 9 mm and m22 bolt so the radius is 11 mm and click escape so drag the line to the inner side go to smart dimension and the depth of undercut is given as 2 mm and the diameter of this portion is given as 28 so it is 28 by Go to features, click revolve boss, select the center line, click OK. Now select the top surface, click sketch, select a center rectangle and draw a rectangle of sides 15 mm. Go to features, click extruded boss and extrude this for a height of 15 mm now go to hold wizard create thread select the starting edge of the thread and in the end condition select the top face of the thread okay click ok now right click on the material choose edit material and apply tool steel click apply and close it now save this as part number five next i am going to assemble it click new create a new assembly starting from part number one next go to insert component and insert part number 2 select mate select the cylindrical surfaces concentric with lock rotation now move this to the upside again click mate select these two surfaces and click coincident now go to insert component and insert component number 3 go to mate and select the two circular surfaces click ok similarly select these two surfaces and click coincident mate now go to insert component and insert part number 4 so rotate this with respect to Y select mate select the sides and make it as coincident similarly select the bottom bottom surface of the slot and the inclined surface and make it as tangent now click the tree and select the front plane of the assembly and the top plane of the wedge and give a distance of 60 mm and made this now go to insert component and insert component number 5 
then click mate select the circular surface and the top circular edge and make it as concentric similarly select the top face and the top edge and make it as coincident with the distance of 5 mm so the 5 mm should be in the opposite direction click ok now we have completed the assembly thank you